Hello. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm able to uh, hear your voice. Is my voice clear? It's clear. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm able to uh, hear your voice. Is my voice clear? It's clear. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm able to uh, hear your voice. Is my voice clear? It's clear. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, yeah. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hello. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen it. Huh? Only thing is, uh, is my this thing visible? Huh? The slide is visible now. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing. No, it, 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 it was. Was it not visible? Not visible. Huh? What? What is visible? H I M S. Right. That's enough. Clearly visible, no? the particular. Because no? then I want. Okay. It's custom live uh, streaming service means. It is uh, Mr. Bhasha. No, no, the custom live streaming service means custom live streaming service means it's states. 
Okay. No, no. Uh -huh. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to all of you. 
My name is V. Venkatramna. Is it audible? Yeah, could you use the chat box? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to all of you for the session. My name is V. Venkatramna, and uh, for the CRT program, Today, I'm going to take on the session called Verbal Communication. Before I start the part, I just want to make it sure that in this session, I'll be covering quite a good number of the areas. And at the end of the part, you can ask me any questions. Right. So as I Begin the part. Let me introduce myself. My name is V. Venkatramna. I'm one of the head trainers of this organization, HIMS, and I have been in this profession almost for two and a half decades. I hold a master's degree in English literature and education. I started my career as a teacher of English and then headed a CBSC school and uh, then started off with building up the skills among the students. And HIMS has been one of the premier institutes, which has been in the training trend right from the year 2000. And we have trained more than 3,800 batches. And I'm so happy to be on this particular session to give you an idea of what verbal communication is. So friends, the first thing that I want every one of you to uh, quickly respond whenever I ask questions is to use the chat box and off and on. Okay, I'll also be uh, showing the screen and you'll be able to get. And uh, at the end of the part, if you have any questions, you can ask me. So, friends, as I begin the part, let me just make it sure. Uh, is my voice and uh, my video clear to all of you? Right, is my voice and the uh, video clear to all of you? As I begin the part, friends, basically, when we talk of communication, what are the four important aspects that come? That's the first question to all of you. Could you write it on the chat, chat box kindly? What are the four skills? in communication. Hello. If my voice is audible, uh, could you, could some of you respond? Yeah, very good. Yeah, so which is the first skill that all of us developed in in learning our mother tongue, which is the first skill that we develop? Okay, written communication. Okay, how about others? Which is the first element of the communication that we developed as a young child? Listening. Good. Yes. All of you. The most important skill. Are you able to see my screen? Hello, are you able to see my screen, friends? 
Yes. Right. The most important skill is listening. Please remember. Without listening, you can never develop any language. Right? As a child, we started listening to the language from the parents, brothers, sisters, all around. And the first skill that we developed is listening. Then we started speaking in the mother tongue. Right? Now, friends, this is where exactly the most important part comes. We started using small words. Okay? And over a period of time, we started speaking in small broken sentences. And then almost after three, four, five years, we started speaking in our mother tongue. Right? So all of you, do you agree to that? All of you, do you agree to that? Yes. Wonderful. Right. So friends, that is where our journey started with developing our communication. And then on a on an in the sense we were given a colorful picture book. And then we started developing the third skill. What is that skill? Reading. Now, the best part of it is we started developing the reading skill. And finally, on an auspicious day, what is the meaning of the word auspicious? Yes, any one of you? What is the meaning of the word auspicious? Special day, okay. Something more? Good. One or two of you. Important, okay. Okay, fine. Uh, on an auspicious day means on a sacred day, holy day. What is the meaning of this word sacred or holy? Any one of you, what is a sacred or holy? What is the meaning of that? Regarded as religious, okay. That's absolutely one holy, right? Connected to God, okay. Fine. So, all of you, on, on a sacred day, on a holy day, right? Now, the best part of it is when you look to the one, an elderly person at home, normally, grandfather, uncle, Mama started with the final skill, and that is where exactly we developed the writing skill. So, friends, this is how we developed our mother tongue right? Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. But when it came to communicating in English, we, we did not follow this method. We went in a reverse direction, right? Starting with writing and reading and we stopped here and we have hardly spoken in english right and if we have listened we have listened only to the subjects so all of you will you agree to that yes we have hardly spoken in our but during our time of education and that's the reason we find it challenging to communicate in English. So friends, it is important to understand that if you want to move ahead, you need to really build up, okay, from the point of view of what we call it as interactive listening, right? Listening and speaking. And this is a very important dimension in your development of the language. So friends, let me move ahead now to ask you, Friends, what is the difference between listening and hearing? Any one of you, what's the difference between listening and hearing? Yes, use the chat box if you want. Listening has to do with understanding, 
Okay. Hearing. Listening means understanding. Okay. Good. Yes. It's just here the words. Okay. Here means what? That's where exactly. I want you to get the clarity. What is this hearing? Any one of you? Hearing. Okay, fine. Good. Yes. That's very exactly. Oh, is it? Uh, we are hearing you. Okay. Not listening. It's something interesting, right? Now, friends, you are listening to me, not hearing. It's not just the sound, right? So listening is where you put your attention and concentration. You listen with your mind, right? And the sound also, right? But what is important is, we need to understand the importance of listening. Okay, hearing naturally happens sometimes. The sound, okay, sounds around. We listen. Okay, no, we hear. So, hearing is a natural aspect where we hear with our ears, right? Whereas we listen with our mind. So, the outcome of this is we need to listen. So, friends, listening is a very important aspect by which we need to move ahead and build up. So please tell me what stops you from listening? What are the blocks to listening? All of you, are you able to see my screen? What are the blocks to listening? Any one of you? Lack of interest, good. Okay, distraction by many things around. Tiredness, good. Right, comparing, absolutely. Fine, some more. Right, exactly, exactly, right. Now remember, these are all the aspects that stop us, okay, from listening. We start, okay, continuously trying to judge people, right? And when we start judging people, we not listen. Please remember, it's very important you stop the aspect of comparing, judging, right? Trying to read the mind, okay? Try, trying to uh, compare. Now, all these are the things that are stopping us from listening. That's one of the reasons we should always allow our mind to first listen, get to understand so the most important aspect is to understand and in that aspect okay we always have to strive not to allow any of the things to come okay and many a times we know particularly that there are quite a good number of aspects which stops us from listening and on to which what happens is we start keeping on Okay, all the time trying to build up, and uh, in turn, we cannot move ahead. So, comparing, mind reading, rehearsing, okay, what, what is being told, and trying to filter, judging, then keeping on thinking about what will happen, then trying to identify, advising, now pairing the particular part, okay, leaving being right, I am right derailing, not uh, trying to 
listen properly and uh, placating, okay, uh, trying to uh, uh, condemn sort of thing. So when you look to the particular one, you stop, okay, you need to stop this things which are the blocks to listening. And it is very important to understand the various aspects. So friends, apart from that, what are the other things that stop us? Any one of you still, apart from this, what are the other aspects that stop us? How about the environment? Yes, does the environment makes a difference? Right? Yes, right? Like say for example, if the surroundings are noisy, okay, and sometimes the climatic conditions, right? The climatic conditions also matter. And apart from that, the distance, when it is physical part, even the distance matters, then yes, uh, as far as the situation, health problems, okay, uh, when we have a mild headache, upset in stomach, right, or uh, various other aspects related with that, they become blocks to listening, right? So apart from that, any other aspects, friends, worry can be a hindrance, a block to listening, right? Then you are in a hurry to move. Okay, and someone is trying to share something, we don't listen. Fine. Apart from that, fear also can be a cause. Please remember, fear stops us from listening. And there are quite a good number of aspects like this, which makes us stop. And we do not correct the tension, right? It is very essential that we need to keep calm. Okay. and whatever are the particular things, we need to allow our mind to absorb, okay? And in this aspect, I think it's very essential for all of us to understand and to build up, and particularly from the point of view of the uh, blocks to listening as we have seen, okay? Mind reading, comparing, judging, right? Along with that, sometimes what happens is in this particular other area is trying to be egoistic. I know, I know problem. Now, these are the particular things which really blocks, okay, the listening part. And it's very essential for you to overcome this. So unless and until you properly develop this particular skill, because without listening, the speaking part doesn't happen. And listening and speaking, as I shared with you, they go hand in hand. And interactive listening is the key for your communication. So friends, what stops you from speaking? Now my next question is, all of you, what stops you? Yes. Lack of knowledge. Okay. Fear. Yeah. Okay. That's absolutely true. Lack of communication skills. Yes. Fine. If you absolutely now. The most important part is word strength, right? Words do not come as a flow. So one of the things that has been found out is that adequate vocabulary is not there. And owing to which, okay, we tend to lack, even when we listen to some words, we don't understand. So it is very important that we tend to develop our vocabulary because Without developing our vocabulary, we cannot. It's essential that we start working on the aspect of vocab because to speak, you need words. 
Right. And this vocabulary, you need to work out from different aspects. Okay? And it's not just by hacking. It's very important to under understand that sentence plays a very important role because in that particular context is the word which which is embedded so naturally when you have to learn you need to understand the word in the context so any vocabulary that you need to learn is in the con context right so let me use uh, a word to just give you an I idea okay so that every one of you will be able to understand and bring it to play, adapt, right? Fine. Now, I want you to write a sentence with the word adapt. Yes, any one of you? Write some sentence with the word adapt. Okay, we need to adapt soft skill. Okay. Okay. Adapt it right now. Okay. Fine. Now, what is the meaning of the word? First of all, let's understand what's the meaning of the word adapt. Used to okay. Fine. Now, friends, adapt means adjust, right? Get used to, right? Like that. So when you adjust to some place, you get adapted to that place. So it's very essential that you uh, acquire some quality or thing, okay? Okay. Fine. Um, yes. Now, my question to all of you is because words stop us, no doubt about it, right? When you use the word adapt, adjust, get used to, right? I, I can adapt to any climate. I can adapt to any climate. So, what does that mean? That means the person is an adaptable person. Person is an adaptable person. Same is the case. Suppose I have to use the word adopt. Right? What about the word adopt? Okay, to take it, follow it, which is already used. Okay. Okay. Like, say, for example, if I say that Maruti adopted Japanese technology, right? So, adopt means take and make it one's own. And here is where, in the spoken part, friends, it's very essential for all of you to understand the importance of the particular words and to speak because without speaking, we cannot really build up. And it's very essential for all of you to understand that when you have to speak, you need to know how to pronounce the words correctly because without pronouncing the words, we will not be able to correctly use it. So friends, I'm going to write a word. Let me see. Now, unless and until. Enthusiastic, right? Come on, all of you pronounce the word enthusiastic. Fine. And it's very essential for you to know how to correctly pronounce the words, right? He's a very enthusiastic person. What type of a person? Enthusiastic person. When we use that word, the words that we work out 
can be used in different contexts, right? So he shows a lot of enthusiasm, right? Like that. So let me go back. The word adapt, adopt, right? Adopt means take and make it one's own. We call it as adopt. Maruti adopted Japanese technology, Japanese technology. And whenever you build up yourself, it's very essential that you start working on the words because mainly in the speaking part, we find that words do not come as a flow. And over and above all that, the pronunciation, because our mother tongue keeps on influencing. And if you need to overcome, you need to work on this particular pronunciation part. And over a period of time, naturally, okay, we will be able to overcome this particular area where the part of speaking plays a very important role. And when you have to work out in the activities, you need to participate, right? That's where exactly sometimes you need to know how to clearly work out to build up. To give you a small, quick understanding of the particular one, right? I would like to just make you understand because when you have to interact with people, you need to ask questions. And these questions play a very important role. You call it as probing questions or open-ended questions or closed-ended questions, right? When you start using the question type, we start understanding the importance of how well can we build up. So initially, when you're not sure, you need to ask yes or no questions, right? If you're not sure, okay, say for example, uh, you want to use uh, the language to clearly express. If it is in the particular past, you would definitely have to use the correct spoken part, which is automatically, it goes along with the grammar. So past tense, like say, for example, did you, right? Did you take, okay, that particular thing? Did you withdraw? The money. So first of all, you need to get the uh, this thing, whether it's yes or no, right? So when someone asks you, like say for example, did you withdraw the money? Okay. So what will you answer? Can you write it in the chat box kindly? Did you withdraw the money? Not yes or no. I want a full answer because see that is where exactly we need to now connect ourselves in the spoken part. You need to speak out in complete sentences. Did you withdraw the money? Yes, I. Use the chat box. Yes, I withdrew the money. Yes, I withdrew the money. Fine. Now, the moment you ask, suppose, have you withdrawn the money? Now you see here, this is a small difference. The moment you ask, which one are you using, right? Did you withdraw? Yes, I withdrew. Have you withdrawn, right? Yes, I have withdrawn. Now I have drew, uh, I have drawn. Yes, I have drawn, not drew, okay? Drew is the particular past tense, so I have drawn, right? That's the correct usage. So learning how to use when we ask certain questions what we call it as confirmation questions right yes or no fine and uh, particularly building up right in a proper manner when when we ask questions how correctly do we frame it okay because in trying to get the answers we need to know how to use this particular one do does like when we use does okay does he does she, okay, like that. So any particular part of the question that you need to ask, okay, in the uh, form, right? So let me just ask you, suppose you ask a question with does, could you write it in the chat box, a question with does?
Any one of you. Can you write a question with does? Does, does. He will, yes, does. Right? Right. Now, wonderful. Others, kindly all of you, just use it so that you get to understand. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, if you carefully look here, I want every one of you to get the clarity about the part, right? When you're using, you need to use in the form of does he, does she, okay? Uh, does any one of you have been to London, okay? Uh, anyone among you? Okay, normally, uh, does anyone, has anyone, okay, that would be the correct usage there, okay, it should take a present perfect tense, have you been to London, okay, any one of you, have you been to London, so does is only present tense, okay, does she take, okay, does she sing, okay, does she come regularly, okay, like that, so when you get to have, first the confirmation, right, so when you ask confirmation questions initially, right, and then get into the information, you get to probe, right? So one of the important aspects is learning how to ask these questions. So asking this question, open-ended questions, type of questions that we work out is very, very important, open-ended, right? Same is the case, okay, process questions. Okay, what would you get? What I need to communicate to everyone, right? To ensure everyone understand what's the role. Similarly, the probing questions, right? You ask the purpose of follow-up questions is to get information, broaden the understanding, and it covers various aspects. What, how, right? Why, and all that. So from that point of view, you need to have a particular one. Now, getting to get the information is a very important part. So, from the point of view of the way we ask these questions, right? Open ended or closed ended, and the probing questions, right? When you probe, you get into, right? Like, say, for example, uh, did you go, right? Oh, when did you go? Where did you go, right? When you Start asking, you get to have information about the particular part, and it helps the person, okay, in turn to give the information. So, friends, is it clear to all of you? Whenever you need to interact, okay, you need to listen, you need to speak, and wherever you cannot understand, you need to say, I beg your pardon, right? That's the polite way to ask for the particular one. So, I beg your pardon, please, right? Would, would be the way to ask again, right? The so same is the case. In the spoken part, normally the words stop us, okay, from understanding. And going to which we tend to see that we are not able to speak on a continuous manner. And unless and until you build up your ability to speak. And this can come when you start interacting in English because for 15, 20 years, we have been listening and speaking in our mother tongue. And that's the reason English will not come as a flow initially. All that you need is to spend more time, build up yourself and learn how to move ahead and to work it out. And for all this, what is necessary? We need to do activities constantly, right? And that's the reason we constantly build up various activities, right? Jam session, right? What is jam, any one of you? Jam. Use the chat box, right? Just a minute, right? Any topic that is given 
right? You need to speak for a minute on that topic. So friends, if you really want to build up the ability, it's very essential that you start working to speak in front of people. And as rightly pointed out, what stops us fear, hesitation, right? Giving one word answers, right? And all that, that we need to overcome. And this can come in working out to have activities. So the activities that we orient particularly is very important in just not only interacting, but participating. So while participating, it's very important to have the group dynamics. And the group dynamics play a very important role in our participation. We should know, okay, how to that how to uh, share our particular thoughts in a clear, crisp manner. So if you have to work it out, you need to learn how to develop the particular part. So friends, from the particular speaker's point of view, it's very important that you always keep your voice a little loud and show the positive expression, expressions, right? The gesticulations, the pronunciation very important, right, as we were sharing with you. And the pace in which you speak play a very important role. You should not be too fast, not too slow. Both are hindrances, please remember, right? And as, as you know, the gesticulations of the particular part, the positive facial expressions, the eye contact, all this, right? And the words that you use should be in a manner that everyone can understand. If there are technical terms, related with the subjects, you need to be careful. And you need to create the interest. It's a very important dimension. And always, while speaking, you need to keep it short and simple. I call this as KIA system, right? Then congruence. Whatever you're trying to speak, there must be a connectivity. That. And when will that connectivity come? When you're clear in your mind, what are you going to speak and how you're going to begin? how you're going to build up the particular topic, right? How you're going to bring it to a certain conclusion. So friends, sometimes while trying to speak, listening and appropriately trying to share your viewpoint. So clarity should be there, whatever you're trying to speak. And there should not be any deviations. And the most important part, enthusiasm. You need to show that enthusiasm, okay? Enthusiasm is always effective. And remember, the most important part along with all this is your voice. Your voice is the key, right? So you need to know how to modulate your voice, okay? The tonality, the stress, and so on, right? When you know the words have a certain way to work out, right? And it's very essential that every one of you need to adapt yourself and learn. To give you a small example of that, right? Just to have an example, I'm just using this. The moment you are using, see, verbal ability is all about words, right? And how you are stressing the words and how you are using at the right time to properly express, right? So when you have to use the words, the correct word you need to stress is important. So from that point of view, okay, I would say particularly you need to start working on the dimension of the particular part, how to correctly stress the words so that it can help. Have you seen my new mobile? This is a, a particular question I have put. So if you want to emphasize the word mobile, right? Now, what is important? Have you seen my new mobile? All of you. No, you want to emphasize new. Have you seen my new mobile? What's happening? What's the difference between the first one and the second one? Can anyone share? 
What's the difference between the first one and the second one? Right. Now, it's very important to understand that you are stressing the word new. It means you also have an old mobile. When you stress the word new, it means you're talking of only the new mobile, not the old mobile. Have you seen my new mobile? Like that. So the stress that goes, that brings out the clarity of the particular one. And whatever you're trying to speak, okay, you need to clearly work out. Same is the case. Suppose you have to stress the word my. Have you seen my new mobile? My new mobile. It means not someone else, right? Not my friends, not my brothers, my new mobile, right? So the moment you work out, same is the case. Suppose you stress on the verb. Have you seen my new mobile? Right? So all of you, are you able to get? Same is the case. Have you seen my new mobile? See the wonderful part of it. The moment you stress you, you are particularly working out on the particular part for you, not someone else. Right? So learning to develop this is a very important part. And I can definitely tell you in the spoken part how you work out with this, all this matter a lot. So, friends, if listening and speaking is given the priority in the particular part, I want you to get the next part. Yes, reading. So, what is the main aim of reading? Can you use the chat box? What's the main aim of reading? Hello, friends. To understand, that's comprehension. Yes or no? Comprehensive ability we call, right? To understand. Correct. When you read something and if you do not understand, it's of no use at all. So it's very essential for every one of us to develop the reading. And these reading habits, unless and until you develop, you cannot. So you need to read. You need to read newspapers. You need to read magazines, right? You need to read certain uh, aspects of journals, articles, right? And simple things to come across normally in your And today's world, you have access to all this. And it's very important that you tend to develop this in various ways. Because in reading, one of the areas of working is you can develop the ability to pick up the words, understand, and use it. So. Uh, words that you are going to pick up play a very important role. And while listening, you may find it difficult. And reading can really help you, okay, in building up. So the, what are the techniques that you need to adopt while developing your reading skill? Because you need to develop what we call it as certain speed reading techniques. Now, friends, unless and until, because you need to browse. So my question to all of you is, okay, there is a little difference between reading and studying. What's the difference? All of you, what's the difference between reading and studying? Any one of you? <laughs> Hello? What's the difference between reading and studying? Okay, uh, study is understanding it by doing it. Reading is one, just do once. Okay, fine. Um, reading is more about just going through, right? Glancing, correct. When you read, you read, okay, for fun. Okay, you, you must enjoy reading. Whereas study is a very serious work, right? You need to put your concentration because it's the subject you study. So here, you need to understand that you need to develop your reading habits. And reading habits will in turn help you a lot in your studies also. And that's the reason you need to adopt this particular techniques of reading. So friends, in reading, we need to work out two techniques. One is called the skimming technique and the other one is called the scanning technique. Now friends, these two play a very important role in 
our particular reading habits, right? One is called the skimming technique and the other one is called scanning, right? And one needs to understand that these two you need to adopt so that the reading techniques that you work out will have a very important okay, dimension. And unless and unless you start working on this, it won't come naturally. Please remember, right? It's it's important that you develop this particular technique. So what is skimming? Skimming is going through the part very quickly, right? And this is an important dimension in reading. When you go through the headings of a newspaper, right? You tend to skim the whole particular topic, right? You go through the part. But when you want some information, you scan. Now, to and make you understand a very simple one, suppose you're given a, a, a timetable, a railway timetable, right? You're asked to tell at what time the certain train leaves. Now, when you have something you need to go through, right? Same is the case. Suppose you want to know, okay, what's the for a batsman that had scored previously. Now, automatically, you need not read every part. You just scan to the part. So skimming means going through the part completely. Scanning is for particular information. This word scan comes from the particular part of the medical area where I'm sure all of you know the ultrasonic scan where it is very particularly scans a body part. So friends, when you skim, you go through the part quickly. So you need to adopt the method of skimming and scanning. These are the two techniques. And there also, we have a certain way where we call it as a marker technique. Marker means it can be your pen or it can be your finger. Initially, you need to adopt the technique, which in turn uses okay, you to quickly start developing the part. So then once the market technique is properly worked out, then you can build up on the second technique called silent reading, right? And in silent reading, you don't even try to use your lip movement. Please remember, right? And using the lip movement should not happen, right? Because it slows down your reading part. So you need to adopt what we call it as silent reading or what we call it as mind reading. Now, these are the particular techniques which you need to adopt, particularly from the point of view of the reading part. So skimming, going through the part very quickly, fine. That's where exactly you get a lot of information. But when you have to particularly get the answer, you need to scan for that information. So sometimes these techniques will help you when you have to browse. And particularly, okay, students from different backgrounds today, knowledge is a continuous process. What was yesterday is not today. And what is today will not be tomorrow. So fast developments are coming. Unless and until you start developing the reading skill, you will be lacking, right? So you need to adopt the two inputs, the two most important inputs, listening and reading, because these two inputs will help you to work out. And as I shared in the beginning, L and S, interactive listening, this helps you to get good confidence to interact, okay? Communicate, build up your ability to convince and so on. So friends, the main aim of working is to develop this ability to use the language to express and in a clear manner so that it is understandable and in turn, the other person agrees. We call it as, okay, the ability to convince, right? And this is one of the most important dimension. And in that aspect, we cannot overlook any part. So reading helps us. So the speed reading techniques, which I just shared, skimming, scanning, and particularly using the technique called okay, 
silent reading or mind reading and every aspect of it should help you to develop okay your ability to read fast so so that your understanding ability develops so friends along with the particular one then comes the last and the final one the writing right now friends in writing what are the challenges you face all of you in writing part what are the challenges yes in writing what are the challenges now in writing it's very important to have an appropriate way of writing because there are few things that we need to develop fine and in that aspect i think it's very important yes at spellings exactly right the punctuations fine difficulty to make sentences correct usage of tenses exactly right the lack of ideas good fine now it's important that we know how to correctly use the language and when you start developing the ability to speak okay and read then automatically in the writing part the spellings punctuations right the most important part whenever we write we make many punctuation mistakes we don't know where to put the capital letters right and where to put the commas apostrophes simple ones but in writing that makes a lot of a difference and it's very important we know how to share in a proper manner where in that particular one whether it's in the spoken part or in the writing part definitely okay grammar plays a very important role in what context you are trying to use okay what exactly you are trying to share so from that dimension okay i would say that in the writing part it's very essential all of you to develop the ability to write correctly and know how to start build up on the topic okay when you are writing it's very important that you give a, a proper introduction and a body of the particular one and then you need to also learn how to expand on the body of the topic right and the body of the topic should have a certain method right whether you are expressing a certain event okay or working out to narrate no you are describing a certain thing or using a method in writing what we call it as expository or for that matter persuasive so in writing we need to understand the dimension descriptive when you start describing a certain thing we call it as a descriptive writing style fine right? and simple methods sometimes you need to know how to describe okay like say for example you want to describe about a certain thing okay a particular topic okay how do you start describing putting it in proper way building up on that okay the body of the topic right then a proper and similarly we have a second method called narrative you start narrating okay when you start narrating it could be a certain events that come one after the other right so narration style we call it. it's almost like writing a biography or autobiography you narrate okay the events of the particular one right then all this may uh, be at a little higher level expository and all that but one of the aspects of descriptive and the narrative is what can help you and going to the higher levels we need to develop the ability to use persuasive writing right the writing which can help the other person to be convinced right and the different ways you can build up on this particular writing style so the four four modes are what we call it as the descriptive mode the narrative mode right the expository and the persuasive so friends we all need to understand that all the four are important the listening speaking reading and writing in that way if you have to move ahead 
you need to develop your ability to know how important it is to pick up the language and overcome the problem main challenge of listening because listening is the key for your ability to comprehend to understand right and the key lies then in speaking and when you are speaking how correctly you are using the words right because that's where exactly your fluency comes and fluency is dependent on the various ways you express the pronunciation right and the aspects related of using the right words and the space of your particular speech every aspect matters you should as i shared with you you should not be too fast not too slow and overall when you look to the particular aspect okay it's very important to speak in a voice light okay and in a manner which is expressive in a proper manner right and by interacting as i shared with you you need to interact in a manner that you get to confirm or use the probing questions right so the information seeking questions the confirmation seeking questions will help you to work out and whenever you speak speak out in complete sentences right don't use shortcuts two words three words you can never know how to correct yourself if you can speak out in complete sentences that will be the right method by which you yourself can learn the methods how to use the right grammar working out to know how to correct ourselves right and turn automatically the fluency comes then to end up the part once again along with this listening speaking the reading part as i shared with you the techniques the browsing techniques skimming and scanning which plays a, a, a very important role in developing our ability to read fast and the main objective of reading is understanding so anything that you read and this has to be developed into a habit please remember if you want to really move ahead you need to develop the habit of newspaper reading certain magazines and today everything is accessible on the net all that you need is to utilize your time properly and build up your reading habits so all this can be done right along with the writing part because tomorrow when you have to join you need to even develop mail writing how do you write the mails okay in a proper format building, building up a proper method so all this in a proper way all of you can develop and here is where in our particular training of the crt right will be including quite a good number of them and it is highly interactive method right hims has always believed on this that when you want to make the participants confident you need to make them speak right and it's very important to make them come to the front and speak on the stage because the biggest challenge would be to overcome the stage fear right the so friends once you overcome that particular stage fear i can assure you that your confidence level will shoot up and you will be in a, a wonderful way i can tell you be ready to confidently interact with others speak in fluent language and develop over a period of time so friends as i end up it's been a wonderful this thing that the college has asked us okay to give a presentation and i really heartily congratulate all of you for being here right and i'm sure uh, all of you have got what i have just shared so friends have you understood the part all the things that i have just shared right thank you very much do you have any questions right please write it in the chat box one or two if you have any questions i'll be able to take
Yes, writing part is one thing which we need to develop in a manner. It, it needs time because when you have to develop the writing skills, as I shared with you, first of all, constructing the sentence properly, right? Trying to know how to convey the message, right? In a proper manner. So the first thing is the sentence construction. In any writing part, it's very important to know how to construct the sentence in a proper manner and the appropriate word to be used because instead of using three, four words, sometimes a single word is enough to convey a certain message. So the appropriate way of constructing the sentence is a very important one and knowing how to arrange it in a proper order, right? And always in the writing part, we need to understand if you're trying to convey a, a message, a text or something, how we keep it short in a proper manner so that it, the other person clearly understand. Whereas the other areas of writing, as I shared with you, the descriptive part, okay, when you have the descriptive mode, you need to know how to develop that writing. Okay. So that's a little higher level, I can definitely tell you, right? Where in turn, as far as you youngsters are concerned, you should be able to write and express in a manner where when you share something in a part, it should help you. And particularly when you prepare certain reports or something, how you start using the correct method of describing a certain part okay, and building up and using the ability to correctly work out. Fine. Uh, Shanti, very good. Good question. Both are important. Both are important. And today I've been asked to share on the verbal part. That's the reason my concentration was on the verbal part. Both are important, verbal and non-verbal. Because verbal communication is actually the key. For the reason you need to use less words and communicate more. And non-verbal, as all of you know, the various dimensions of the body language and all that. Today, I was asked to focus on the verbal part. That's the reason, if you have carefully looked into it, my whole presentation was focused on the verbal part. Right. Fine. Both are important, verbal as well as non-verbal. Non-verbal okay, shows your facial expression, hand movements, everything. Because when you work out, okay, the words that come out, Okay, from your particular uh, way you speak matters a lot. Okay, and uh, how, what's the way you're moving ahead? Because the hesitancy and all that, the non verbal areas, right? Fine. Any other question? It's been wonderful, all of you. Any other questions you have? Right. Thank you very much. I hope uh, you have enjoyed the session. And uh, thank you very much. It's been really wonderful. Huh? I, I could see your participation also, all of you. And I'm sure if I would have asked you to even okay, unmute your audio, I'm sure many of you would have participated. But because of the time frame and the particular one, I had to restrict the particular part so that I could use the chat box to make you learn how to communicate quickly so that the whole topic, the broad topic, I could cover in an hour's time. Right? So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure taking this session. Right? All of you. Fine. Good night and have a nice weekend, all of you. Thank you.
And thank you very much, Basha. I'll, I'll leave. Thank you.